mean, firstly, what a great race. Uh, a great turnout um, in in both races. Uh, I think for the, for the women's race, you know, obviously it was going to be a smaller field. Um, uh, but in the men's race as well, it was, a, it, was, it, was a, it was a fantastic turnout. Yeah, so I've been um, working through this pandemic at um, Southampton General Hospital, um, working at a and &E. Um, so, yeah, balancing the training and the working um, at the hospital as well. Fantastic. You know, she's been she's been working in the NHS throughout the whole of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Um, so she's done very well to, to balance uh, to balance her training um, in with the day job. My coach massively helps me through and, um, you know, has tapered me off to this race. So, um, yeah, helps tailor the training, balancing the training and the uh, work. I was quite nervous um, today. Uh, I think I was very much looking forward to it, um, but there's lots of really strong girls on the start line, so I definitely um, I had quite a few that I wanted to have my eye on. My strengths would be on the climb, um, so I was looking forward to being able to put some pressure on on the first climb, and then my plan was then to try and attack on the second climb. Once we've gone over the climbs, then I was just trying to conserve as much energy as possible. Um, Kat Matthews and I were in the same uh, group. So my plan was just to try and surf the wheels as long as possible, um, you know, keep an eye on when Kat Matthews started to up her, go into the red and up her watts per kilo, um, sit on her wheel and then really give it everything in the last 200 metres. Fair play, she's, she's, she's been very strong this season and uh, showed her strength in the finish of that race today. The fact that she is a doctor within the NHS during this COVID pandemic and then training to ride in an army jersey. It's inspiring. Inspiring soldiers to cycle. She, she delivers that in space. Yeah, I went went into the race feeling pretty good. Um, I'd, I prepped, I've been prepping for it well. So, um, yeah, I was pretty confident going in. I tried to make it hard on the climb. On the next climb, sort of Rich Hunt, um, as strong as ever, went away up, uh, up the second climb and I bridged across to him. And then Tim Thies came across to us as well. And it was a really strong move at that point. There was three of us and we were all working well together. And the gap went out at one point to sort of seven, eight seconds. And I thought, oh, this could be this could be the winning move here. They brought us back. Yeah, then it was every man for himself. I would used a lot of matches trying to keep that move away. So I was a little bit concerned I wouldn't have enough for the sprint. But um, yeah, just had enough legs left at the end to go over the top of um, Connor Towers, who sort of went, he went early in the sprint and then I just slingshotted off him and got a gap and managed to stay away. Ah. Um, you know, the, the race wasn't won right until the finish. Yeah, really happy to take a win in uh, representing my court. J James did, uh, did what he does best at the finish there and um, he, he, showed, he showed how strong he is in a sprint. I would have put money on James Bevan. I mean, crikey, what he's doing on the bike on Zwift at the moment is, is truly incredible. Let's not lose sight of the fact that the Exmoor stag in Rich Hunt, you know, who won the Masters, came second. Uh, Johnny Dawood did, I mean, Johnny Dawood, I mean, that's a name that I, I hadn't heard about until, heard of until Zwift uh, and this lockdown. And so for him to win the under 25 is fantastic. Just to finish off, really, I mean, thanks for all those that uh, that took the time um, this evening to, uh, to to sign up to the to the uh, army virtual racing championships and, uh, and made for a, for a fantastic event. So thank you all and uh, all the all the best for the for the rest of the season, whatever that looks like. Thank you.